I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Warning, this video contains common sense. What's up everyone, it's your lawyer, Jabberga, and oh boy, it's really happening. A video on GR himself on this channel. Before I go any further, I would like to let y'all know that this wasn't a solo effort. Me, that guy named Kratos, and Kosusama have came up with this, uh, like, and just worked on this just together, right? And I highly recommend subscribing to their YouTube channels and follow their TikToks that'll be linked in the description. I especially recommend keeping an eye on Kosu's channel as he's going to be dropping a GR debunk of his own, like, soon. I'll probably go over even more of the things than I did. Anyways, this will probably be my most controversial video, and longest video, I'm going to try to do this in one take, and will be the only GR scale that I personally will stick to on the channel. I implore all the GR fans to come into this with an open mind. Like, I used to believe like the same things you believe about GR until I gave more thought, which is why I believe that this is the most logically consistent GR interpretation, like that most should use in JoJo power scaling. Finally, GR fans, please don't get toxic in the comments or towards me or other people that don't share your belief that GR is the number one stand. Y'all can be better than that, please, just be better. Anyways, now it's time to explain why GR isn't as strong as you think. Now let's go to GR's just ability. Like, so this is what GR's revert to zero like ability falls under. And keep in mind, the ability is pretty like simple on the surface to explain. It's just it reverts the will and actions of an attacker to zero, reverting the effect back to the cause. Now here's what the ability falls under. We're gonna go from the roots to just the generality. First, cause item manipulation. The user can redirect any cause to any effect, undo anything by inverting the relations, cause slash effect, or even separating them entirely, making a specific effect impossible to be created, like caused or like spe a specific cause not producing any effect. This allows one to achieve virtually anything by redirecting the selected cause to the desired effect. Cause item manipulation is a more specific variation of time manipulation. Users of time manipulation are able to affect specific areas or people, slowing, reverse, accelerating, or even looping time. Time manipulation, along with cause eye manipulation of course, is a more specific variation of reality warping. Reality warping, also referred to as reality manipulation, alteration, and bending, is the ability to create, shape, and manipulate reality. Now the possible like applications that matter here are space-time manipulation, and fate manipulation. And keep in mind, when I'm saying reality warping that this ability falls under, I'm not saying that like GR literally anything that ever anything and everything that falls under reality warping GR just does right. No, I'm saying specifically time manipulation, cause that manipulation are just a subsect of reality warping as a term. Anyways, going back to cause that manipulation, that by itself could grant characters fate manipulation through possible users. And in GR's case, it does grant GR fate manipulation in the context of Jojo and like Diablo's ability of like you know changing fate or just Diablo's ability in general but like basically reverts to your like it'll just only change fate just only when the ability activates. Fate manipulation is the ability to like manipulate re like destiny itself uh, to achieve a desired result. A more powerful variations can make it possible to ordain one's victory against their opponent. This would give GR a very limited variation of a causality specifically type 2. Temporal singularity Having a resistance to abilities like precognition and fate manipulation, keep in mind that this a causality isn't passive for GER. It is just something GER will like have once he activates revert to zero or when revert to zero itself activates. Now, first point out of many that I'm gonna make here: GER stats don't refer to its physical stats, but its ultimate abilities revert to zero stats. And I'm gonna give some guidebook quotes here. Quote, the ability of Requiem selected by Arrow is impossible to compare with the existing stand measuring rod. Even Jorno, the main body, doesn't know about the power that makes all willpower go away. Second quote, the ultimate stand that returns everything to nothing. The ability is to return all of the actions and wills of the attacking opponent to nothing. Third quote, the stand evolved when an Arrow pierced gold experiences body it has the ultimate ability to change the opponent's like, movement in will to zero even in its stand description when gr first debuted in the manga it specifically only talks about its revert to zero ability there's also evidence of stand stats in series consistently referring to like 
specifically either the stand physically or just like the ability to keep in mind stance has descriptions of their ability right so and just stance that's too but anyways example number one is superfly from jojo part four this stand is literally a pylon slash transmission tower and it has an e in speed not a none e like the stand actually physically moves which it doesn't at all because it's a, it's a fucking tower, but the only logical deduction that can be made here is that most of its stats don't refer to the stand physically, but to its abilities, which would not only explain the E in speed for Superfly, which would be like the speed of the victim being turned into metal for trying to exit the tower, but also explains it having an E in power, where it reflects kinetic energy of attacks. Uh, we have also like let's say potential and finally pre precision right which is like reflected kinetic energy won't always hit its target the only things in superfly's like stand stats that would objectively refer to its physical stats as a tower would be superfly having a uh, none in range since it's just a, a tower by itself the middle of the tower for one of its abilities to activate is very small not really having any real range and finally, Superfly has an A in durability, as we can literally see Crazy Diamond in the hand, like, fail to top her, like, just topple the tower physically at the moment. Uh, example number two is Sky High, Jojo Part 6. The stand is uh, physically attached to uh, Rikyu's, like, a uh, hand, and it does nothing physically. And its stands, like, stats just reflect that, having uh, none in destructive force, speed, precision, and growth potential. The range of the stand, like, being it slash its users, field of like vision and a C in permanence being staying like slash how long the stand can remain summoned and the rods the stand commands are separate from the stand entirely as they're living organisms example number three white snake jojo part six the stand is outspeeding other faster than light to massively faster than light plus stands and donating people Yet it has a question mark on destructive force, precision range, and growth potential, and it has a D in speed. Keep in mind, it's outspeeding and or just keeping up with like higher rank stands and speed like diver down. This is because the stand description is referring to its uh, goo mind hacks ability, as it doesn't really have any destructive force, precision, or growth potential that Araki himself can like know or quantify, right? But the ability takes a good bit of time to affect and melt people which is why it has a d in speed and permanent slash staying having an a like is a rank based on the abilities like duration of existing example number four uh kiss jojo part six infamous one actually a uh, pretty infamous, like infamous example is a stand that has like an a in every category except precision precision is a c if these stats were physical kiss would literally be near star platinum's level of physical capability which is definitely not true in part six <laughs> It's not true. The stats clearly refer to Kiss's ability as it's even like explained in its stand description. Example number five, the final example, even the I think is the most infamous one. Burning down the house. This stand literally has none in every stat. <laughs> oh, like, well, the G you are cold, you want to stand stats bag. Like, the jokes aside, all these stats. Like, just refer to the stand's ability that brings about ghost objects, rooms, etc. All these things are just hyper hard to quantify, like, the ability physically. For obvious reasons, such as its strength, speed, durability, staying, precision, learning. Which is why all of its stand stats are labeled as none. More elaboration, like, a none on GR will happen soon, right, of course. Plus, the ghost objects can't even interact with living beings or things, right? further tying into why all the stats are none. Okay, now in terms of physical stats, something that people can get confused is the statement of GR's quote, attack power surpassing that of existing stands, right? But in reality, this is just like in reference to like it's revert to zero ability. Even in the same translation at the end, it says, so it can be said to be like a perfect stand, right? And like some translations can say ultimate stand, let's just say it's a perfect stand, but here I'm going to give a quick side like tour real quick, is that we can like even see like in the reference like manga panel in that in the guy with that translation right next to the explanation of Diablo slash like King Crimson being reverted to zero, not the like the panel where GR fires like a beam through like Diablo's hand. So 
at least this translation where it says attack power says it's like surpassing that of existing stands and the picture they show is Diablo getting reverted to zero it's pretty safe to like assume at least that this completely should support the idea that it's referring to revert to zero as an ability like it it explains that it says attack power surpassing of existing stands and the panel right next to it in the guide shows Diablo getting reverted to zero right anyways back to the quote of so it can be said to be the perf like a perfect stand this of course is just in reference to GDR being an ultimate stand ultimate stands have ultimate abilities an example is like star platinum stopping time an ability having an attack power like to surpass that of existing stands is just no different than it just being the strongest stand ability ever plus it's literally stated that time stop is the ultimate invincible ability in the raw translations of star platinum's first stance that's like card and like description in Georgia part 6 furthermore what actually refers to GDR's physical stats along with every other stand in jojo is quote destructive power though in normal stand stats they just call it power but in guides and in the series they consistently refer to a stand's physical power as quote destructive power as the jojo agogo like translation completely supports this idea as well as the panel they show in this explanation is gr hurting king crimson with a physical attack slash projectile so here's the quote from that translation and also a little page from it so quote more destructive power. After being pierced by an arrow, gold experiences abilities evolved, greatly increasing its power and speed. That attack also wounded King Crimson. Here's more proof of a stand's physical AP being called its destructive power in series. Uh, let's start with Star Platinum. So, Jojo Gogo. -Go. Quote, unrivaled power and skill are proof of the strongest stand that combines unrivaled speed and power, precise movement, and three abilities. There is a special move called, or quote, or or that has destructive power uh, now jojo veller or quote performance or or which can be said to be like synonymous with one star platinum has the destructive power next stand crazy diamond is the jojo gogo -Go one quote amazing abilities destruction and regeneration according to the rule that number one power and speed of josuke is directly proportional to the range pair crazy diamond also has a speed approaching star platinum now to jojo veller quote because it is a short range stand that boasts high power and speed it has a short range of one or like to two meters but it's good for for melee attacks. I was able to fight almost evenly with Star Platinum, the star of Jotaro, who is famous as the strongest. Next, your golden experience, or gold experience, what do you want to call him? Jojo Gogo. -Go. It is a short range power type with a range of two meters, but its destructive power is not so great. Next stand, Stone Ocean, Jojo Part 6. The destructive force of its punch is equivalent to being hit by a small but incredibly fast moving meteor. Sea Moon, Jojo Part 6. Destructive force is zero because it's not physically harming you by bruising slash donating you with a punch sea moon just by touching or tagging you it's just an ability of gravity manipulation that would just turn you inside out so all this proves is that gr physically would just scale relative or a little bit above diablo considering that diablo could still react to gr granted it was precog diablo acknowledges that gr did get stronger and faster but was still confident enough that he's at least fast enough to skip time in precog which he still does and is still capable capable of harming Jorno if not for GR's interference. Now of course GR in terms of AP, durability, and speed generally scaling to King Crimson should put the stand in the large town to small city ranges and massively faster than plus. In my opinion for like the large to small city level stuff but the rest is, is like just solidly objective right and like you know when it comes to the massively faster than plus because King Crimson scales to a base of a trade that even Jorno considers a, like a serious physical threat to himself and Star Platinum. Not that you know sub trade is equal to Star platinum speed just per se just that it's almost close and the rest is just calyx and blah 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 not getting to that here <laughs> revert to zero as an ability only scales above other stand abilities part five and below and i'm gonna add more to that later by the way to this point later but anyways going on the way the ability is described as like quote you know being impossible to compare to the like stand measuring rod just saying it's impossible compared not that they're just staying that it's above it right so what i mean here is that there's just a lot of like things about revert to zero that's just hard to quantify physically it's just hard to compare it to the measuring rod not that's above it and once again i'm gonna state it again what i mean here is that there's a lot about revert to zero that is hard to quantify physically like its destructive capability its speed like here's here's an example for, for speed right an example is a ball is lying on the ground obviously it has zero speed it will only have speed once an external source such as myself picks it up and throws it giving it speed that's completely reliant on me this is no different than the speed of revert to zero being completely reliant on how fast GR can apply it because the ability itself just 
has zero speed. Another thing that's hard to quantify is durability, etc. We can go on, right? Because, first of all, this is just an ability, not the stand. Finally, all it does is just return things to zero. What we do know about the ability is that in general power or hacks, if you will, is that it specifically, quote, has an attack power that surpasses that of existing stands. This, like, ability is just blatantly not passive, as it is in complete contrast to just how revert to zero works, because an action slash attack needs to start and be near the end of its, like, motion, so that GR can make revert to zero take effect before the action is finished. Completely reactionary on GR and revert to zero's part, just because Drono isn't conscious of what's going on, and, like, what GR is, like, you know, doing slash can do doesn't mean that revert to zero is passive, it it just means that Jorno doesn't have the wheel anymore. GR is the one, like, capable of making, you know, just these decisions with his own reaction slash individuality from Jorno, as everything GR says to Diablo during time skip, that's like, you know, being reverted, completely supports this idea. Even to say that the activation of Revert to Zero is, quote, instant, it's not only founded with zero evidence, only coming from headcanon from the lack of information we have on GR, but instant, as a definition, can be vague, subjective, and be put on a case-by-case -case basis. For example, instant generally means, quote, happening or coming immediately, or another quote, a precise moment in time, or another quote, a very short space of time or a moment. And in subjectivity, another example is if I fight someone who can, like, you know, all around move faster than light, from my perspective, it would look like that person is moving everywhere instantaneously. And since there's nowhere in series calling the ability instant, and this belief is coming from most viewers slash consumers interpretation appearing instant, like, to us, right? I think it's completely valid and obvious that the interpretation on the ability activating instantly or having infinite speed hold zero weight. So while revert to zero is an ultimate ability, its use and effectiveness is completely reliant on GR's reaction and combat speed, or on its own speed feats, being able to activate faster than Diablo can strike Jorno, which would mean, you know, the revert to zero ability is just massively faster than light plus in speed. Also, revert to zero as an like, ability should be like, um, uni plus in like, range slash general hacks potency, since it should be comparable to other space-time abilities like, you know, time stop, time acceleration, and time skip that affect the entire universe. Even Araki with these, uh, time abilities refer to them affecting, like, quote-unquote, the world, usually meaning the universe, as he says the same thing about time stop and acceleration when time acceleration was affecting the entire universe and time stop, you know, worked on it. Yeah, um, something I forgot to add is that, so for, like, the high ball for, like, GR's revert to zero ability, essentially is if, like, okay, if it's truly above Star Platinum's, like, you know, time stop via, like, I guess it's truly the stand not existing in part six, therefore or making the statement true, like, he's just above time stop, right? But then existing stand, keep in mind, revert to zero is above existing stance, as this is the high ball, right? So that would only mean part, still part five and below, right? And it's only above time stop, which would mean that it's not above, like, an ability ability like for example made in heavens like you know accelerating time like you'd have to actually you know debate that and like bring up feats right like actually have to make an argument rather than just say it's automatically above it because obviously made in heaven didn't exist in part five below and also this still applies to like any parts past like five for example in terms of just like versus you're just not like being above it because once again it's only above like stand abilities like part five and below only existing right so that's pretty much it and of course it's not gonna be like above or comparable to anything like in future parts or even just in part like seven to nine in general because that's a different universe anyways back to the video um so a bonus and there's gonna be lots of bonuses during this video is that Rita zero as an ability once activated is completely unavoidable now gr fans don't judge your pants just yet because it's Activation isn't something anyone or even its own user can like see slash perceive, right? So what I mean is like its own user can't like perceive like uh, revert to zero because GR slash revert to zero acting independent of Jorno. Once again, tying into its stats just being none because it doesn't have any like physical presence because it's just an ability. Like how you can't perceive something that just doesn't have a physical presence. You can't see it, right? Once again, because it's an ability. And of course, other like, you know, like another stand ability that's exactly the same as like what I've described for like, revert to zero is time stop. Being that time stop is also completely unavoidable because its activation isn't something anyone except its own user can see slash perceive. 
its own user can perceive the like the ability because he's the one activating it right in contrast like you know well journal not being the one activating it's just gr or virtue activating it right but you know it also just the time stop in general doesn't have any physical presence either once again because it's an ability and if time stop were to be measured by stats they'd all be none too and i know like people will bring up like you know king crimson's uh, time skip like ability thinking it should fit into the same qualifications as time stop when it comes to being com like a complete the unavoidable ability but that simply isn't true at least not fully time skip isn't completely like unavoidable in the sense that the ability's activation can be like seen slash perceived instantly no matter what by using the blood drop method and in some cases can be perceived without like that method if you're like truly paying attention to the environment and like yourself and before this gets like brought up no what kakyoin did with dio isn't comparable to the blood drop method at all kakyoin himself literally didn't perceive time stop at all and the only conclusion he could come to was that like he was dealing with an ability that stops time because everything just keeps happening instantly which makes time stop as an ability inherently more harder to deal with than just time skip by itself what makes time skip so frustrating to deal with other than it just being like 10 second long abilities it's pretty OP, like come on is that diablo is using it in tandem with epitaph that can you know also see the fate of future for 10 seconds diablo uses ability like you know before time skip and during time skip like epitaph right and in a realm where he already has another layer of precog because of the like projections of an opponent's future actions unfolding like in real time in front of him if diablo didn't have epitaph as a secondary ability he would have like you know died to for example polner like on their second fight because diablo wouldn't like he wouldn't have been able to see the results of you know the time skip aka you know polner fatally wounding and that's how he dodged in the first place right a major reason why like diablo escapes death or losses in general has to do with epitaph which would explain why it's you know his like abilities aren't stated to be like an ultimate ability or just his stand is an ultimate stand because both of like its abilities by themselves can be moderately countered by like a regular like just regular stand users in general in 1v1 confrontations like metallica and bruno like uh countering just epitaph and polnerf and Jorno countering time skip with the blood drops meanwhile with time stop there's generally no real solution as a regular stand user unless you have a hyper specific like prep slash knowledge on jordan right and before y'all bring up the stupid rat like that only happened because jordan was trying to teach josuke on how to be the protector of morio while he's gone and jordan was off guarded by a rat having insane intelligence to predict his simple movements outside of time stop because jordan thought that the rat was like you know primal slash fodder in intelligence enough to be incredibly simple with how he just uses time stop and pos like positions himself another bonus Credits to Clothespins for this as I stumbled upon this argument he made in his stream. Another debunk for Revert to Zero having infinite speed or higher in general, and the ability working on opponents with infinite speed or higher, mainly comes from the nature of Revert to Zero as an ability of causality manipulation, reverting the effect back to the cause, yes. Revert to Zero itself debunks it having infinite speed or higher, which is pretty funny. Anyways, the explanation simply goes as follows, scientifically with causality, quote, the cause, the independent variable, must precede the effect, the dependent variable, and time. In order for an event like to proceed, something has to come before it. Most people argue that GR with like revert to zero has infinite, inaccessible, or immeasurable speed, but let's go over their common definitions and explain why they completely fall apart here. Infinite speed is being able to travel any finite distance in zero time or move an infinite distance within like a finite amount of time. Teleportation does not count, like obviously, because I mean, I guess there, if there's an infinite distance, you can just teleport across it, right? With like out having to use your own movement speed. Now on character stats and profiles it's quote the ability to move infinite like just move an infinite distance in a finite amount of time without the aid of teleportation an accessible speed is the ability to move like just distances whether it be finite or infinite in zero time without the aid of teleportation similar to infinite speed but of course this is just a higher degree of speed dealing with time you know just being stopped right or zero time finally in like with just a measurable speed a measurable speed is movement beyond linear time this is why you know the speed cannot be measured given that speed equals dis distance over time and if time is undefined the speed formula cannot be applied Bars. now why all this falls apart here is because someone with infinite speed would get to where they're going whether it be an infinite distance or a finite distance in a literal instant or in zero time which leads into the problem that if something has to proceed then it can't happen at the same time so to give an example if one plus one equals two one plus one is 
the cause, and equaling 2 is the effect. Now naturally, by GR's revert to 0 ability, you can't get to 2 if you revert it back to 1. But, up against a person with infinite speed, GR can't revert to 0 that opponent because of this, of like a simple reason that you can't revert 1 back to 1 if you never got to 2 in the first place. A, sim like a similar line of logic would follow in terms of GR being unable to revert an opponent with inaccessible speed, this time with the opponent being unable to be reverted because you can't revert 0 back to 0 if you never got to like at least 1 in the first place, right? Then with a measurable speed, it's uh, the simple fact that GR can't revert an attack that happened like what, negative 2 minutes ago? <laughs> so if anything, you'd be arguing that GR would be forwarding that attack back to 0, which is obviously wrong given how revert to 0 operates like as the present cause taking place in progression, like almost reaching its effect before being reverted, and the nature of like the immeasurable speed attack can't be reverted to zero because well it's just below zero, negative even, right? And DR wouldn't be able to like revert an immeasurable speed attack that lands in the future, obviously. As while DR is trying to revert two to one, the attack is already at like five, right? <laughs> Which makes it even clear that revert to zero by its own nature has to have a calculable like or just a set calculable speed of just how fast it can activate in reaction to something happening. So, there's an argument going around that GR would still exist if Jorno would die, then GR would just revert to zero Jorno's death to bring him back to life, assuming Jorno like doesn't die directly from an attacker, and it's something more indirect or just simply a natural like cause or a heart attack or just something, right? Everything about this argument is completely wrong, and I'll start with the latter part of it first. GR's consistent description across the manga and guys of just only reverting in attackers will in action specifically not like reverting like you know just drone specifically would just die from a heart attack right so there'd be no evidence to show that gr would just revert drone's death if he died or something again to like natural causes if you die from natural causes right or something just natural and obviously gr if given like opportunity would revert to zero like journal if he were to actually die by his opponent's attack in the faded future prime example is of course diablo now on to the former gr still existing past journal's death is like just all this is based off of like comparing gr one to one with silver chariot requiem capable of existing you know with its user being dead but silver chariot requiem is completely different than gr because it's also also a guardian stand that's carrying out Pornar's deepest desire, even after death, even has its own criteria for existing after its user's death that gets explained. So no, GR wouldn't exist after Giorno's death bonus, right, is that GR in both the manga and anime, when Giorno is donated by King Crimson in the Fate of Future, you can see that Giorno, like GR, right, coughs out blood too, showing that Giorno and GR are still connected. Comparing this to Sibitrate Requiem where Polnareff is still fine even if Sibitrate Requiem takes damage. Polnareff makes a comment about like the arrow going beyond what already exists as stand abilities. Keep in mind that in the panel before, Polnareff's like only knowledge is that the arrow can only create regular stand users. So it's safe to say that when he refers to the arrow granting anyone's like stabbed abilities that go beyond what already exists, he's just referring to regular stand users as a reference. As we know, this arrow grants ultimate abilities. But what makes this arrow different is that it's able to dominate souls in the highest level of potential slash power we see come from the arrow fully realizes gr with the ability to revert an attacker's will slash soul and actions to zero and ever since this part introduced the term ultimate stands and ultimate ability star platinum in part six has those labels now because in part five the whole terminology was discovered and fully explored now even being applicable to a stand we already know to give it an updated label based off of that discovery gr would still exist in part six regardless of having the arrow because they fully realize Super Chariot Requiem is capable of existing without the arrow like you know in, in its own arc which leads into just Star Platinum not only being an ultimate stand with an ultimate ability to impart six but it's also stated to be the physically strongest fastest and having the strongest ability time stop still which would either make time stop equal to revert to zero well, as a low ball or just simply above it also Jorno is not like only in part six but it's also in florida during the whole maiden heaven arc the only reasons why maiden heaven didn't get reverted to zero is because the ability in general is an attack the only thing that's an attack is you know poochie blitzing to slice you know apart people obviously Jorno wasn't there to face poochie and if we go with another interpretation Jorno 
would have needed to hit Poochie with GR in order for Revert to Zero to activate. Uh, more on that down below. And uh, guess what? Giorno, he, he, he wasn't there at all, right? Finally, another interpretation besides GR needing to react to an attack and to activate Revert to Zero is in order for Revert to Zero to work, GR needs to hit you like he did with Diablo with the non-lethal beam shot. After that, the ability immediately nulls your will, actions, and abilities, which explains why Diablo's abilities and actions stop before they finish. The guys completely support this idea. Quote, those struck by Requiem are returned to zero, even to death, so they repeat their death infinitely without ever reaching their true death. Quote, those who have been beaten by Requiem, beaten in this instance has to refer to when Diablo was struck by a GR's little beam, then promptly being reverted to zero during a time skip, as you can see as a reference panel in the guide, which leads into will return to nothing as a reference to support, and of course, fi like finishing the quote off, even if they die and will continue to die many times, as a result, Diablo, who believed in his prediction and attacked, would continue to experience death forever. The only counter to this interpretation is that revert to zero didn't activate when Diablo tried to attack Giorno again after getting packed up by GR. Giorno with GR just decided to maybe attack faster than Diablo was throwing his punch. Another bonus is that GR can't age people to death. Um, people that make that argument based on the fact that Gold Experience aged a tree into its full life cycle with life energy, but whether it be, you know, by just people honestly forgetting this, right? Or maybe just being purposely dishonest. We know what happens when Goal Experience applies life energy to living organisms. We see it happen to Bruno, and the effects are that it just accelerates, like, his consciousness, right? Or the living organism's consciousness. Finally, the infinite death loop. In order for this loop to activate, GR needs to put his opponent near death, as Trish confirms Diablo is still alive after he gets punched into the river slash stream, and Trish was the main source of sensing Diablo's life energy slash presence slash soul throughout the park consistently. We even see Diablo like near death in the river state that he's barely alive and survives somehow. Then of course, the death loop activates, and BFR is like Diablo to different points in time. You literally see the lady at the morgue read out Diablo's information, how he died, where he died, what time, right? In that little, uh, I don't know, tunnel. And once he's like BFR to different points in time, he's just to almost, it's mainly just to die, like almost die, almost die, every time. He'll never witness the truth of death staying true to revert to zero as an ability. Because Diablo gets mangled to near death and right before he dies, he gets reverted to zero and BFR'd into a different situation. Of course, these different situations can also be GR manipulating fate slash warping reality to make these happen passively. Once again, once the death loop is activated, it will passively continue without GR having to do anything else from what we've visually seen and what's been explained in the Jojo Part 5 in Disguise. Diablo can't even summon his stand during the infinite death loop or at least just do anything meaningful because, and keep in mind, right, a stand is a person's will, so he's fighting like spirit. He can't fight back because, well, he just has no will to do so because of GR's ability, so he's just completely helpless in the death loop, right? So, which leads into GR in character. GR in tandem with its main ability from everything we've seen, its goal isn't to incapacitate or kill its opponent, it's simply just to beat the opponent down until they're near death so that the death loop will activate which would also line up with you know certain requiem stands just having goals of their own in a fight like super chariot requiem and to top it off gr at the beginning of a fight will either just float and stand there for 40 seconds before eventually non-lethally attacking like he did with Diablo, which allowed Diablo to precog GER by the way. Another time of GER doing nothing is when he slowly approached Diablo to beat him down, letting Diablo do whatever he wanted except kill Jorno, obviously. Though, the reason for GR doing that could be that GR is competent and just revert to zero like in, you know, Diablo based off of just reaction time, even during time skip, or that since GR already hit Diablo with an attack earlier, revert to zero is now in effect and will activate right before Diablo finishes his deadly action towards Jorno. Finally, it's no coincidence that GR in character is still mostly reactionary, like its ability and like what I've been saying and proving this entire time. Even in the 
non-canon source material. Keep my I don't I don't mess with this. But this is this was supervised by a Rocky, by the way. Okay, so, so this, <laughs> this is some real character shit. So in Eyes of Heaven, Jorno slash Gr did nothing against Dio. Heaven is such a Dio at first. Knowing that he is a major threat to the multiverse as a villain. Jorno, like, this went as far as Jorno and slash GR just letting Johnny get packed up by Dio. Only rushing in when Dio is about to hit Johnny. Like, this is ridiculous. Johnny was the first to make the move. Like, <laughs> Johnny was the first to make the move, but not Jorno slash GR. Bro, they should be fucking speed blitzing everything like everyone fucking says about GR. Yeah, GR is going to speed blitz in one shot. This and that. No, every time he's just doing nothing for a long time at first. It's ridiculous. That's the in character GR we always consistently see. Final thing to know is that gr has an ego believing that no stand ability or ability can stand before him which would make like a whole lot of sense as to why gr is just so nonchalant about like just just doing nothing and preferring to be mostly not like completely mostly reactive from what we've visually seen as it believes without a doubt that not only will its opponent never overcome its ability but that any opponent will never overcome its ability right now this is some extra stuff that i'm gonna add here is that diablo's time skip slash like erase doesn't erase time literally it just erases people's perception of time um example is like let's say diablo sees a faded future he doesn't like skips 10 seconds of it like changing the faded future of course diablo can check epitaph again to see if he'll get his desired result like before the time skip ends during those 10 seconds in time skip everyone and everything will follow through with what they're like fated to do for 10 seconds unconsciously except for diablo this one is pretty simple erasing time literally sounding like fucking leafy is here bro would mean erasing physical change slash space which would also mean that he literally destroyed the universe for like 10 seconds and then he brings everything back and everyone including him moving in erase time even unconsciously it doesn't matter would have inaccessible speed because they're moving in zero time which is obviously not true more on erasing physical change slash time is that nothing would have progressed no events no actions nothing it would be no different than just stopping time at that point because we like we need time slash physical progression to go through things and if you truly erase like that then there's nothing really being skipped as we've never progressed to that point in time yet and we still see every time like <laughs> time is skipped slash erased physical progression still takes place so oh my goodness and you can't even call the people in erase time projections as they physically still exist an example is diablo throwing blood onto like Paul earth and journal's eyes like and the projections that like everyone talks about is literally just another layer of precog similar to how people with the, the sharingan in naruto can see projections of their like opponent's future actions in a fight is exactly what's happening in like diablo's case in like reverse time or Numbers, erased time right finally the world still exists in erased time further supporting that it's just affecting people's perception of time as while we do see everything in the world go away once time skip is activated proof of the world still existing comes from bruno's first encounter with diablo as during time erase bruno unconsciously hits the building's pillars multiple times but if everything were actually gone, Bruno would have hit nothing. Why didn't Diablo, you know, get hit by Aerosmith's bullets or anything in, like, time skip? And people, like, always go to, like, why didn't that happen? The simple answer to that is that Diablo during time skip just has intangibility. Let's not overthink this, folks. And also, this would, this would mean that also, like, the blood that diablo throws during time skip slash erase would become tangible as it's just no longer a part of him plus diablo like himself cannot interact with anything like you know during like time skip slash eraser because even quoted in the guides it's just being called like attack avoidance or quote absolute avoidance right what like if you know, people are like what about trish being taken from the elevator and narancha being placed between bars now i've already made like a whole like a uh, thing about like jojo and fate right like I'm pretty sure three videos like jojo cosmology fate and gravity being op right and you can even check this video out too like it's not even from me i think he does a better job of explaining this for me right which is that from homin 
just check this video out this explained diablo's ability perfectly but basically they were fated to all have that happen to them by diablo so diablo skipping time and not changing anything except arriving at the desired result without him having to do anything physically fate would just do all the work at that point and once again please just check out Hamavit's video he just does a, a really good job at explaining like you know the ability keep in mind i've already explained fate and all this other stuff many times you can go check it my playlist out on the channel if you want to but anyways gr being able to remain conscious during you know a race time means that gr is immune or immune to like you know having its perception of time altered which could mean that another time ability like time stop like if it were used on gr gr like while gr wouldn't be able to move physically it could still be conscious and perceive what's happening in time stop but keep in mind right i'm saying could not would now here's some more extra stuff is that there's a lot of fake gr scans and translations out there but please now make sure to pause the video and like take a look at them right so you like know what's what right make sure everyone just be careful and don't be misinformed out there i don't know there's just a for some reason just, i don't know people just doing dumb things like just trying to like i don't know either it's a mistake or just trying to for some reason buff gr i don't know anyways that's just all i got heading into my fallout shelter before i inevitably get doxxed by a gr fan for this video later